Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Within. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we took care of another Exalt mission. I... 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 I don't know where it was. But we did get the information, it's the, the country with the Exalt base is not in any territory in within the Arctic Circle. Which is not that viable information, I don't think, because we already knew that it cannot be... Can... No, we did not know that it couldn't be in... Yes, we knew that it could not be in Canada. United States, not either. So that counts toward being an island country? Toward being a territory within the Arctic Circle? I don't know that. I don't know that. Um... We, we are going to have to work toward the this Exalt base. I wish I could work toward that faster because I have a strong... I have the strong suspicion that the end of the game is coming up. And when the finale arrives, I will play through the finale instead of um, working against this Exalt base. Because it doesn't make anything, a, a, any damn sense to wait on Exalt to, to finish up working their junk out. Alright, let's have this... Let's have these things coming up. We get we get the plasma sniper. Perhaps it was inevitable that we eventually be called upon it to develop this uh, a weapon of this kind, just as we did with the uh, with the advent of laser-based weapons. By concentrating our efforts on a single focused discharge of plasma and ignoring some of the previous design's constraints regarding size, weight and rate of fire, we've developed an extremely lethal long-range weapon. Our snipers will undoubtedly be pleased with this weapon's ability to devastate hostile targets from previously unheard of distances. In any case, this weapon is now ready for fabrication and engineering. Plasma sniper rifle available for manufacture. By modifying our current power system to hold a greater charge, we've developed a plasma sniper rifle capable of delivering an extremely powerful shot that will greatly increase the odds of inflicting critical damage to hostile targets. I'm not able to do the alloy cannon, because I'm missing weapon fragments, and I will do the MP cannon, because I don't have anything else to do. Okay, let's continue. A UFO in Brazil... It is a large scout with a medium-sized UFO. I don't think this... Oh, we equipped everybody with a plasma cannon. Never mind, this guy's gonna go down. Like a hot knife will go through butter. As always. Something I very much enjoy. Let's look at this beauty. Uh, two shots. One. Two shots. Well, I'm pretty cool. Interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. Interceptor sustained light damage in the encounter. Okay, we've got a UFO crash site mission. Um, as far as I know, we cannot take our... Um, no, you're still gravely wounded. We cannot take our, our um, mental case with us. <laughs> I did not call a mental case. Anyways, um, we have you guys in psionic testing. I don't want to take this heavy with us. Um, more heavy is another sniper. We don't have a sniper. Okay, we're going to take a sniper. Marino. Haven't talked to you in it forever. Major Fuji. Lieutenant Stevens. Colonel Vogel. Why do you not have your mech? Seriously, lady, what is wrong with you? Uh, that's cool. And carry that rail gun. Ah, because I didn't take you with me and took all your equipment away. I'm not taking Vogel with us because she's a colonel and she's too badass. I, I cannot call it anything else. She is just too badass. Um, we've already got a heavy net Durant. We're going to take another um, rookie with us because it went so well last time. You, you're a sniper, let us customize you, because you're going to wear black. Is that the black I want? I think so. And as for the loadout, we will give you the exalt laser sniper. You can get a skeleton suit of armor. You can take this plasma pistol. 
Um, part, apart from that, you're gonna take not shit and plating, you're gonna get the respirator implant, so you don't get um, strangled, which would suck on a unit like this. And you take the flashbang. Miyu Fuji, you're doing well, but you have a shit gun. Hate to say that, but it, it is the case. Exalt laser assault rifle. I would like us. I, I would like the shotgun, but we don't have that at the ready yet. Okay, now you have cool armor as well. Lieutenant Durand, that's Titan armor, isn't it? Yeah. Heavy laser, rocket launcher. Doesn't make a difference, except this looks cooler. Okay. Nothing special. You're still doing very well for yourself, Clark. Um... Yeah, only the rookie is someone who I have to really equip. I should mention this is a new recording session and um, we're gonna go through the usual kinds of trouble that we come across. Namely, being an idiot of sorts. Um, we're gonna take one arc thrower, maybe two. No, yeah, we have two, two assaults. We have two assaults and that plus two health is not gonna make the difference. I mean, it could. It very viably could make the difference. Although I should have given given her the chit and plating instead. Gallagher. It's not a cool name. Now I think we're about ready. One last look at the armor. Armor is looking good. Let's launch. We're gonna get resources here. Resources are important. But the most important thing are weapon fragments. Because we do want to get into that plasma weaponry. Um, before shit goes down. Let us begin this assault. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Bleeding Vengeance. Locate the crashed UFO, sweep the area for surviving crew and neutralize them. Locate and secure melt canisters. Avoid additional damage to the craft if possible. Some components may be recoverable. Okay, this is going to be a good strike team. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Wait. Wait a second. Chrissy Clark, Julie Stevens, Annette Durand, Valentina. Mora, Miu Food, are all these women? There's an achievement for beating a mission with a women-only crew, but to get that while not intending to get it is so unlikely. I've got to be on. Wait. Are we going toward here? That's the outer perimeter. Wait a second, where are we? This is where we are. And this is the corner. And where's the corner over here? No, it continues. Okay, we have to make sure where we are. Because I don't want to be running off in the wrong direction. Oh, we started out in this corner. Alright. <clears throat> so we want to go toward the center of the map because that's where the aliens are going to be. Stevens, let's move with the one with the highest movement range first. No. Durand Marino. You are the sniper. No vision. But you do get vision on in this general direction when there's going to be a melt canister at some point or at some location. Can we get up there, question mark? I don't know how we would. Like, through this passage. I'm rolling. Can we see anything over here? No. That's, a so, that's such a risky move. That was not a good idea, but there's full cover there and she has full armor as well. Um, there's the melt canister. That's what I wanted to get vision on. Okay, who are you? You're in Nedurand. 
Wait, if I dash you back here, you're gonna have to walk all the way around if you want to go there next time. Yep, first turn is dashing ahead because we've got the vision already. I mean, it would be unfortunate if we got more vision now and, and located some enemies. But um, I think we are pretty safe. You are also taking the top already. route. Just because only having one person on the top is not enough. Um, you have Fuji. Okay, we've got one low ground. I should sweep one person th through up here. Yeah, is it, it? Was that seriously thunder? What the hell is that? That's fire. That is fire right there. Uh, yeah, no, you won't go up there. No, I'll sweep you over here. Right here should be good. This is not good strategy, a st good strategic movement, by the way, just so you know. You can plasma overwatch. It's not gonna do much. Okay, there's a cyber disc I just saw with Clark. It's good that we did not um, encounter this group in the last turn. Clark is doing okay. You've got fish to fry. Um, Clark, where can I, can I cannot move you. That guy, that unit overwatched. And I have to not forget that. I have to remember that. Durant, you're a heavy Fuji. You are, in fact, an assault, meaning you could move. I'm on the move. This location looks pretty good. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That's this. Man, this UFO is not looking good. There's there's all these burning bushes here. I hope Jesus doesn't talk to me. Oh, no, that was not, in fact, Jesus. I got that wrong. Um, I don't know if I want to get drone kills with you. Stevens is not able... Nobody is able to jump up here, man. The mu muscle fiber density would have been so meant. That's full cover... And that is gonna bait out that Overwatch, but there's more enemies than just this Cyber Disk. I think it's too risky a move to, to dash right here, even though the the thing is 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 right there. I think that's a little too risky for my comfort. Rolling. If I move you here, you take half cover. You have a pretty bad shot at this drone. It worked though, so everything went according to plans that nobody really ever heard of. Okay. This is also a risky move because you just run through such... No, you run through the Overwatch. That's something I can't do. There's a lot of things I can afford, but not a death on the first damn turn. I could, of course, no, I don't have um, line of sight on him. That's too risky. I just said that. It's, theoretically, that's too risky as well. Uh, I don't like doing this. But that should flush out the overwatch. It's imp an important part of this strategy. That cyber disc is going to move in to flank me, though. Wait, I don't have vision on the cyber disc? Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We've got a situation. Well, you take out the drone. That's a, that's a, a no questions asked. But but we've got, we've got fish to fry. Good lord, that's unfortunate. You've got better smokes, though. So let us put up a smoke screen here. I might die because of the cyber disc because it's gonna move in to flank me. This is at least like 40 defense is almost like full cover. Okay, net. If they do end up moving to flank me, you're gonna be there and you're gonna be shooting. And they are, they have close combat specialists as well. So that's nice. That's full cover. Come on, take it. No. This. Yeah. Don't pop a pod. She didn't. Good. Very convenient. Now you can take this full cover location and shoot at the cyber disk. 
Couldn't have done that before. Nice crit. You are something else, rookie. They're trying to pull back. That is the one overwatch that missed the target. I have to focus. And now you're doing what? You're engaging in very odd activities. You're not doing anything. That is extraordinarily weird. You don't have squad sides. Oh man, that's basically worthless. Of course you don't have vision from there. Duran, do you have vision from here? Yes, you do. Unexpected, honestly. 0% crit chance, even if this... Oh! Okay, I was a very comfortable, com uh, well, very um, certain that that was not going to get a kill, in fact, but it did, and I am happy to not be right for once. Plasma Pistol Overwatch, because we had it be happen before, there was... Um, there were enemies who just moved into my side radius. You also keep on overwatching. And Clark, you keep on keeping on because you're gonna get that meld. And you're probably gonna uncover more threats. Because of course I moved you the farthest. Moving the last unit the farthest? Great idea, Eric! I can hear that cyber sectoid, yeah. Mectoid as some refer to them. Okay, there were so many trees here. That's full cover, nice. There were so many trees, I almost felt comfortable. That's part of the UFO. I don't know how large this... This should be a medium scout. Or it said it was a medium scout that we were dealing with. Uh, Gallagher, you can dash full throttle to this tree stump. Okay, we get a mectoid and two sectoids. Mectoid is overwatching. Stevens, you can move ahead, maybe to flush out the overwatch. It's not far enough. That's okay. Um, no, it's really not okay, because that guy's gonna move closer, but we all have full cover. And we have been making good time here. Like, almost, I should say, great time, really. Um, we're not in that bad a position. This guy is, of course, um, this unit is, of course, a little bit of live bait. Always a useful thing to have, live bait, I have to say. It's more convenient to be shooting with her than reloading. That feels better than doing it as a turn. Fuji. If that cyber guy, even if he gets a shield, if he moves in, he's gonna get five overwatches, and those are not um, easy to deal with units I have. You are gonna be hurt. You are gonna be hurt. One way or another, I mean, I will blow a lot of ammo into this, but um, you're not doing yourself any favors. There's the cyber shield gone. But there is still, the, the other sector, it still has a turn. That's the one bad thing about this. How far can he move? Uh oh, ah, okay, not far enough. You're gonna shoot, but this unit is in full cover, which is oh, honestly not that convenient considering she, got, she just got hit. I hope that tree is still alive. Oh, you took uh, n n you took your eight out of nine damage, huh? Um, she just said it's raining death over here. I assume you are correct, Gallagher, but um, I, I don't know wholly what to do about that. Uh, Marino, you don't have a shot. Here? No. Come on, lady. Is that still full cover? 
Yeah. Stevens, you could run and gun, but you have an 80% chance to hit this unit. Durand. Only one target. I would like to take this unit out with you. This Durand is kind of an interesting unit to move around with. Although she's not the nicest person because she just was like like she just admitted that she hopes our alien friend is suffering. Okay, you run and gun into the action here. That unit is gonna move in to flank you if we don't take it out. That is why we're taking it out. You're about to start keeping score. I've heard that somewhere. This looks cool though. It looks like this this UFO just crashed down here and continued sliding through the ground and all the trees and stuff. That is what it's supposed to look like. I know that, but 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 still, don't no need to argue with me. Durand, you can move ahead now. It's probably not safe, all things considered. This is a, an alien mission after all. Yeah, you should uh, probably back up a little bit, don't you think? Maybe a little bit? Maybe a lot? Like back here? Should be a good idea, right? Uh, that sectoid is too far away to get a shot at you, I think. I will dash you here. And with you, you can heal her. Yeah, she is a big baby getting shot by a, by a mectoid and, and living. That's a baby move. You are falling back. Okay, I would probably do the same thing in that situation. There's the other melt canister. Odd melt canister locations, in my opinion. Have cover. Moving. We have vision. Ah, 100%. I'll just take the shot. And then we can regroup and um, assault the remaining parts of the U of O. Yeah, this is only... This really is only medium size. The, there's gonna be sectoid commanders in there. I know that. And we have got to get our hands on that melt canister for no reason. But um, we're gonna do that. I wonder how many turns are remaining on that thing, or or what I'm really wondering about is if it is worth just rushing into this um, UFO this turn. That is too aggressive a move. If that had uncovered the sectoid commanders, we would have not been in a good spot. There's no other people criti like like criticizing my my movements and my the risks I take, so I have to do it myself. I'm sorry. Um, I would like to take one step with you and reload your gun. If we move fast enough, we don't have to worry about the meld. But all things considered, we can just have Miyu Fuji um, pick it up. Clark, you're gonna overwatch. Because those sectoids are not standing in place. They like colluding. They always look like they're colluding. Oh, Marino is really next to Mio Fuji here, isn't she? Heading to that location. Anybody. On the goods. Four turns remaining. I dislike that. I'll put you in full cover. I know that your gun is empty. You do have a plasma pistol, and there is no alien contacts. This thing is. This thing is trashed. Four turns remaining. I can take out the two sectoid commanders in four turns. Location You've got a full weapon. I'll take half cover here. Still nothing. Marino, you move up as well. You're probably not even going to get one shot in. 
but it would be nice to have you get one shot. I cannot move with you because you're just gonna die. Or um, find out about the enemy locations. Durand, I would like to move no you in problem. place. I'm, I'm, like, I, I, um, I don't know how to put that in English. I am, I really like this position or how this position is looking. Okay. Nothing. You move up a little bit. I mean, I that like is only half cover, but can you see anything? No, you can't. That power source is still viable. Which is nice. And there should be a flight computer in here somewhere. That is really what I want because then I can build me my Firebird. This is probably too aggressive. Oh, we did not encounter anybody. That's cool. Nobody either. Holy. Clark. Durant, you can you can dash up into this full cover. God, it's moving. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Yeah, that's why we call it alien alloys. You're right. That is the reason for that. Nothing. Well, that's cool too. Let us overwatch and be done with it. Sectoid commanders. Well, that was sectoid commanders, like I said. Okay. You take the meld. Because meld is important. Collect. Come on. I clicked it. I clicked it. There's a pixel. It's not working. Okay. Got the goods. Yeah, got the goods. Got to put a little more effort in if you really want that stuff. Okay. Now move into full cover because you don't want to be a bee. I don't know what happens to you if you're not in full cover. Honestly. No enemy in here? Uh, am I dashing inside? I don't have a reason to. I have zero reason to, in fact. Let's you can it. dash here. Marino. I'll move you up a bit as well. I would like you to get a little to get in on a little bit of action. This is such a strange piece of cover. I don't know how it works because it's diagonal. I guess it won't work to my drawback or something, but or or to my to my demise, but I hope it works. Well, as long as you overwatch everything is okay. That is a unit I could heal. I'll probably move one team around, like a one team of three people around the left and one team of three people around the right, like I usually do. And then we're not going to have so much trouble with these. You can move beyond this full cover. Nothing here. Big surprise. Merino dash toward here. Like, they're not going to be in this corridor either. But they could be, and that's why I'm doing this. Time. Not doing the, the routine tactical approach would not be a smart choice against mind-controlling assholes. Annette Durand. How is that only half cover? Boss. I am the boss. You've got that right. Also, a thing that in, in the past has not worked out to your benefit. Or advantage, I should say. I think this team will reach them first. No, I'm actually, I'm confident this team will reach them first. Rolling 
I have to pick up the pace here. I have to still clear this one room. Why are you scrolling to this empty space? I was I was starting to get worried. The two sectoids are here. Uh oh. But they are taking cover in this room. Well then, you did not make a smart choice today. Well, this is height advantage against a unit in full cover. That's smart. Uh, yeah, try to shoot that thing. Holy moly! Lady, that was a miracle shot! Do we have a stunner over here? Yes, we do. Like I said, miracle shot. Nice. With Annette Durant, we are gonna move in for the kill. There is no survival for these two. There is none. I'm gonna move her in for the kill. Holy! Okay. No, this is certain. We are taking one captive because I want another another uh, bit of intel. No, I want another pistol. If you're gonna be like this, I mean, I might as well. One stun and one kill I might as well pick up with Clark. If it works out. And it did not. Is, was that his cover? Yes, it was. Marino, you have not got a, gotten a kill on an, uh, a sector commander. This is a flank and you have a 55% chance of hitting? You're not, you're not what I thought you were. Yeah. Well, now even Stevens can see him. This worked out somehow. Nice. Everything by the numbers. Flight of the Valkyries, because this was a women-only team. Boy, I did not see that coming. Come to think of it, I have found a lot of women characters, haven't I? Like, most of my people are women. Or I should say, all of my men have died or gotten shot. Because my women are pussies and don't get let themselves get shot. My men just take it. Not that that's a smart choice. Okay. Psycho Stevens has been promoted to captain. You get the close combat specialist as well. And Gallagher has been assigned support. How? Why? What did you do to warrant being a support? You got yourself gravely wounded. That's what you did. Huh. Well, hello, new support. I mean, I, I had Clark and I was extra excited when Clark became a support and all, but now she's already been on eight missions. She's pretty much a veteran, so... We get a plasma pistol, an alien grenade, the sectoid commander um, captive, that doesn't do much for us anymore, um, three UVO flight computers, I that should be enough for a firebird. Annette was somehow involved in the attack on XCOM headquarters. Her limited memories of the event include details that no one outside of our organization could possibly know. But the question remains, what is it about her that makes her so valuable to the aliens? Ha! Huh. So that mission was not way too late. Because it... It... Um, the, the, a, the base assault mission has to have happened before you can re recover her. Because she has knowledge of it. Huh. So let's manufacture a firestorm, shall we? Let's see how that works out. I'm curious. Also, let's do this. Uh, we're researching the MP cannon. Round of psionic testing is complete. Huh? That's not a result that is particularly likely. That is a very unlikely result. Everybody is a psycho. Every single one of them is a psycho. Okay. Jeez. Don't be like that. You're kind of making me feel uncomfortable here. 
Not really, though. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, we're not able to give... Uh, I don't need any more psychos, actually. I have too many now. There is no too many. I know that. I know that. What are we doing? We're just waiting for new, more missions. Council report is also ha also happening in a bit. EMP done. In developing an electromagnetic weapon capable of emitting a focused pulse that will penetrate the alien's advanced shielding, we've also had to find a means to protect our own ship's sensitivity circu uh, electronic circuitry. The functionality of the weapon itself had already been well established by previous testing conducted by Earth's various terrestrial military forces, leaving us with a little to determine outside of the energy requirements and effective range. Although the additional shielding required to protect our systems will necessitate Although the additional shielding required to protect our systems will necessitate a reconfiguration of our ship's hardpoints for the weapon's mount, I expect the engineering team will have no trouble fitting the device into position. If our pilots can successfully deploy a pulse against the alien craft, we should be able to bring down a UFO with minimal damage to the artifacts and equipment carried inside. EMP cannon available for man manufacture. Shiv repair project available in the foundry. EMP Cannon. The EMP Cannon was developed in an effort to increase the chance of recovering functional alien technology from downed UFOs. Although the alien systems will be disabled, the EMP does not inflict physical damage to these components. And sh Shiv Repair. After studying one of the small alien drone units, we believe that we should we could upgrade our arc throwers with the drone's robotic repair ability, allowing our soldiers to repair Shiv units in combat. That doesn't make any sense. Now that I am complaining. Can we build or buy a plasma sniper? Of course we can't. A plasma rifle, that we can. Very cool weapon. Very cool weapon. I'm not buying that yet. I wish we could just sell the, the light plasma rifles for money. But, you know, Incoming transmission. we've got a report. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Well, that is a hell of a lot of stuff. That is 15 scientists and 16 engineers. Um, I don't think there's any reason at this point why we should not have a, a, a victory in this. In touch, Commander. Uh, we have so much money. Now let me see what the next sweep would cost. What do you mean 50? Intel scan complete. No new Nothing! Cells located. Okay, there is no exalt cells. There is none. That is cool. Um, we just talked Anyone about building this morning, weapons. Glad to have more help down here. What does the foundry say? Anything interesting? We still don't have enough weapon fragments for these. Ammo conservation. Yeah, I should do this now. That will leave me... Um, I won't have to reload as much if I do this. Advanced servo motors. No, my mech is strong enough. We have zero reason to build another building here. Not at this point. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. This has gone way too smoothly. Honestly, way too smoothly. Okay. Let's go to mission control and continue the progress here. Ammo conservation is already done. Alright, before we continue, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.